Welcome back. At last week's UN Climate Summit, more than 100 countries signed a pledge to limit emissions of methane, a greenhouse gas that's a leading cause of global warming. Leaders talked about cracking down on the oil and gas industry, but there's one source of methane that may surprise you, what we put in our trash. Here's ABC's Dan Lieberman. When you think of climate change, you think of culprits like cars, industrial and power plants. But Justin Green is focused on the food from your fridge. Some eggshells. You know, here's a pit from a, a peach or something. He runs Big Reuse, an environmental nonprofit in New York City that helps divert food and yard waste away from landfills into mountains of compost. I mean, it all breaks down. A lot of this stuff you see here is the stuff that takes longer to break down. You can see some... It's just amazing, the heat that's coming off of it. Yeah, it can get up like to 160 degrees when we put uh, our food scraps in the garbage or our yard waste in the garbage. It ends up in landfills or incinerators. Um, in landfills, it generates methane, uh, which is a major climate change gas. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, solid waste landfills are the third largest source of human-related methane emissions in the U.S. That's a bigger number than some heavy hitters like the aviation industry. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, as much as 40% of the food supply in the U.S. is going to waste. More than half of that ends up in a landfill, releasing emissions equal to 3.4 million vehicles. $400 billion is spent on wasted food every year, nearly 20% of U.S. farmland devoted to food that is wasted, using up an estimated 4 trillion tons of water. It's a big problem, one that Green says composting can help counteract. When you compost, you're adding in oxygen and it feeds those bacteria. So they're aerobic bacteria they, and they don't generate methane. It starts at our refrigerators. The primary source in the U.S. of this wasted food really is at the level of the individual. As much as 8% of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions could be reduced if we stop wasting food. So next time you're about to throw food in the garbage, think again. It's pretty easy to compost in your own backyard. Um, if you're in a community like New York City, um, you have to be a little bit more creative. We collect at farmers markets, at other community gardens. We bring it back here. Anything from your food scraps to yard waste to soiled paper towels to even meat can be composted at these large scale uh, systems. Just imagine the amount of waste that we generate every year and one third of it could be turned into compost and go back to improving soils at farms or in our community. Dan Lieberman, ABC News, New York.